They call me the seeker. It's getting, it's getting uh, wet now, friends. Temperature's hot. See, this is what I was talking about yesterday. The snow is like, it's getting heavy now. So the trees will start to break and uh, it hasn't stopped, friends. It's not gonna stop. It's all about where you're gonna throw it now. You know what I mean? Like we're getting snow. <laughs> we're getting the snow, man. Oh, damn. Look at it. Yeah, see? Oh, yeah, she's snowball material. Gotta watch. You've got to watch your, um, Oh yeah, see, this would have been hell. Yesterday, this would have been hell. It's twice as heavy, friends. Seriously. I don't know if I would have been able to do it yesterday with the snow like this. These trees are tough. Very tough. Little Diodora. See, we're heavy now, friends. dog watch this freaking dog in the snow it is absolutely hilarious <laughs> look at her <laughs> look at the field this is the nicest i've seen the field look i don't know why we're going this way but my wife is taking me on a journey because hi chica come on apples in my pocket for the goat come on chick come on girl that's too much snow for her she said come on chick come on <laughs> like, i can't that's <laughs> Come on, Chick. Call her, hon. Girl, are you coming? She's like, I can't. It's too deep. It is too deep. Come on, Chica. We're deep. We're knee deep, friends. It's gone inside my boots. Yeah. Good girl, Chica. Good girl. Come on. Turn her back. She is. It. It's up to her nose. That is so cute. Shows you how heavy snow is, eh? Look at, you gotta be very careful with these. Just grab her by the middle of the stalk and give it a, off the backside here. You don't wanna bust this up. There she goes. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Pretty good goat, eh? Where do they go when they are not in their little... I don't know. So I got apples in my pocket. Oh. Shut up. <laughs> oh. She bailed. She bailed. She bailed, friends. Oh. He gets his exercise. I don't know where them goats are. But I guess we'll keep her traveling. I don't wow. see them. <laughs> Look at how deep it is, friends. This is cool, actually. It's it's it never used to be cool. I used to 
I used to actually detest it. Was that whole, was that him? There's puppies. Oh. See that little one? Is I think baby. that was Chester. No, it was one of the puppies. Oh. No, it was not Chester. Look at him, friends. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> he's like, he's right up to his armpits in it. <laughs> anyway, friends, I, I used to hate the snow. Um, and it was strictly um, to do with finances. We've never, we've never been ahead. We aren't ahead. But the, we're not behind. The park work, uh, that windstorm helped us. Um, a couple other jobs helped that I'm on right now. Chica! Um, it just, Chica! it was a scary time of year for us because if you didn't have, you know, you spent <clears throat> the time living just back at the fence there at the gate, she won't, she won't make it. This, this pine tree alarms me a bit. It's uh, good girl, baby, good girl. It's multi stemmed and we lost one last year. And it ended up right over there. And where we lost it from is right there. You can see it. It twisted and busted out. Now, uh, why that did that? It just couldn't sustain. The rest of it looks pretty good. Mind you, this one's bending out quite a bit. That would suck. This would hit this would hit the house. This this would. It would it would hit the house. Hopefully if it broke. Oh yeah, there's some rubbing going on right there, so there's a weak spot. Oh, I'd like to see the snow falling off the tree, to be honest with you. I wonder if I could beat it with a sledgehammer. Yeah, see? I mean, it's not that tall, but, but it is, uh, it, it's, uh, it's limb heavy on the one side. Look at all the weight it's holding on that one side. So anyway, that's our, our, our tree there. So we want to keep an eye on her. There's our little, there's a oh, big old Arbutus there. That's gorgeous. Hope that animal stays home. Yeah, she should. Yeah, she is. I see her there. Oh, look at Wendy. A couple of ladies up there. My neighbors, they were... <laughs> We're trying to trying to dig themselves out and I live right here I just said off oh, forget this just her and her daughter right there's opportunities everywhere to help out just gotta open your eyes what are you doing walking the trails here the old snow trails there hey buddy boy you walking the old snow trails what's up being a good boy Oh yeah, he's always fighting with them next door neighbor dogs here. Well, we spent a little more time down on the road there. Let's see what my fire's doing. Oh yeah, I see it there. Good. Mr. Blanchard, I'm working on this handle. It's a very interesting handle. By the way, you're not paying for this axe either. You've been here too long. You've been here too long, buddy. And you've given so much to this channel. You've given your spirit. You've given gifts. You've given your happiness, your love. And uh, you're not paying for the sacks. It's just not happening, bud. Sorry. Sorry to hurt your feelings, but it's not happening. So I'm just doing some fine fittings here. This is a really interesting handle. It's it's heartwood. You'll you'll see it. It's actually all heartwood, and I'm gonna make it really neat for you, buddy. Because heartwood, heartwood is dead inside the living tree. Um, heartwood and sapwood are two different animals. Look, see this? See see the see the you see the sapwood right there, right? See the axe won't even stick into it. Look, look it. It's not sticking in. Watch. See that? It sticks in the heartwood. We're going to do some, uh, it's, it's the next day, friends. I'm, uh, <clears throat> I, I'm a user of the tool. Um, I collect axes. Yes, I do. But, um, I, I just, I don't, I don't have it in me, friends, to just let something 
sit that is meant for friends these ravens were made in the 20s and 30s and whatever mainly the 30s i think with some a lot of good access they, these are legendary for a reason if you if you like looking at a black raven and you think wow it's beautiful what a what a beautiful axe and uh you would be right it is the steel is it's superior. Uh, uh, it it you can you can see this one, Big Waza. If you're watching, buddy, you have you you've made me extremely uh, happy and grateful and honored to to have this tool, my friend. Seriously, I'm, I'm I'm if you're watching, I'm looking you right in the face and I'm telling you again, thank you so so much. I will never forget this. And when we hook up, which we are going to. I'm gonna squeeze the gratitude right out of me. <laughs> yeah, right out of you, buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just squeeze you because I will cherish this for the rest of my life and my son will get this. You have made an impact on my life. I know that sounds maximization-ish, but it is not. You have, this is a special tool. And I thank you again. Let's find out. But <laughs> We're gonna do a box opening. But that's, that's crazy. So friends, here's an interesting situation. Um, I believe, um, do you know what this is? Friends, this is crazy. Wow. <laughs> See, now you might know the value. Wow. Do you know what this is? No. This is one of the most sought after axes that you can get. It's a black raven. Now, something <laughs> crazy. Who's done this? Friends, <laughs> I, I sit here now making this video. It is now, it's five something, 5.50. 5.50, it's getting close to six. Rita will be up soon and I'll be taking her to the bus stop. Okay, and I'm sitting here with my new mean and lean hairdo that my, um, that my uh, hairdresser Bev, you guys have met her. She's been wanting to do this to my hair for the last few times I've gone there. And uh, I said, do it. She goes, if you don't like it, you come back. I straighten it out the next day or the, give it the weekend, see what you think. And I just said to myself, you know what? I've been rocking this same freaking hairdo for years. And I feel a change coming on, friends. I do, I feel a change. And I'm being as serious as I can be right now. Um, Big Waza, uh, friends, I, it, most of you know me that I'm interjecting to video. It is, it is, uh, what is it? It's February 21st. It's February 21st. Okay. And we, we got hit with the snow and we haven't been cutting much at all. Actually, uh, we're close. We're, 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 we could probably cut today. As a matter of fact, we probably cut and, and I'm, I'm freaking itching. Trust me. I'm itching more than you are to see cutting. I mentioned to cut so so don't think we don't feel it here too we do my boy's going nuts he's 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 like he's a can you imagine you know a new thing for a guy he just all he wants to do is climb he came out with a hanker rope the other night and said dad how do you, you know like he's on he you know this is so cool it's a, it is a really special time in the world right now in my life and in yours you may not know it but it is Especially if you're tuned in here and if you're part of this community. And, and that, that may sound strange to you, but uh, I'm serious. Friends, the world's changing in a good way. It's changing. And you're either part of the change or you're going to be stagnant back in the old way. Because love is coming. It's coming. I feel it like crazy on this channel and in this comment section. We have cultivated it here. There was a comment somebody highlighted. Um, 
I think it was on the, either on the last video or the one before. Um, it was Ben Timmers, I believe it was. Ben, I love you, buddy. Uh, he mentioned he was on some other channels and he saw what was going on over there and he just, he felt compelled to say something. I'm not comparing. I'm just saying things are changing. The world is getting better. I say it all the time. And we have our own individual worlds. I don't know if you caught that video or not, but it's how I believe it to be. Okay? Now, Big Waza, it wasn't enough for me to go back and, and, and pull old clips of old videos down to thank you again for the gratitude I have in my heart for you and your family. You are an absolutely amazing man to do what you did for me, okay? Uh, friends, when I open this up, I, I use this ax, friends. I, 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 I use it, okay? If you're not familiar with Black Ravens, we're, we're, we're given that, that knockoff Black Raven that you see come up in the little... I'm going to throw that clip up in, friends, in the videos for Buck and Stock. It's going to be a giveaway at Buck and Stock. I'm going to walk through the crowd probably late Saturday afternoon, and I'm literally going to just hand it to somebody. It is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful axe. It was crafted wonderfully. The, the, the hang is incredible. It's, it's, it's a usable, usable tool like this one. I don't like stuff hanging on a shelf, friends. Some stuff I do because of the handle. But anyways, I, I, I want to try and keep this short because this video is going to go long, but that don't bug me neither. Somebody will watch it, somebody won't. You all know, if you've ever looked on the internet, what these things cost. Okay? I built one for, for Big Waza. He went on a raven hunt. Look at this this head was it you've got i think you've got one of the nicest ravens in the world oh. um when he when he came to the channel friends i want us to thank big waza again i do i if if it's in you then he sends this okay i i'm telling you right now friends uh it it, it I, I wish i could i wish i could bring this to to, to buck and stock for you to have in your hands okay the handle is a complete resurrection, old, old handle. Look at the discoloring in it. It's old, friends. You'll notice probably, look at the grain. It happens to be straight up and down. This freaking handle was made for this head. I've got a, 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 a an acacia wedge in it. Gosh, I just was a... Y y y you know, oh. so I just wanted to to come on and, and give old Waza a, 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 an ode, an ode to Waza again. That, that that don't sit lightly with me. That stuff, not none of the stuff does that happens, but that's that's outrageous. So friends, uh, let's thank Waza again. That's an amazing thing for him to do. So we're 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 punching through this video but I just wanted to interject again to my good buddy Waza big Waza from down under I love you buddy and I can't wait to run into you I know you're gonna sneak up on me at buck and stock I know you're gonna do it you're gonna bring your little girl and your and your wife maybe even your dad and you guys are gonna come and so is Shankers Shankers got to he's gonna jump out behind a tree I sure hope he does man I'd love to see you people Buck and stock's going to be off the charts. It's going to be freaking off the charts. I'm going to be, I'm just going to be, I don't know what I'm going to be. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about life, friends. There's a change coming. There is. It's one thing to say it, but it's another thing to live it in your heart and your soul. And it's coming. That's where I live. That's where my world is. It's getting better. Way better, actually. It's like we're at the end of a shift. I think you know what I'm talking about. Back to the show. Who is crazy to do this? You guys, you crazy son of a, you know what? So, uh, he gave me a, a, a double bit too, friends. You know, like, uh, it's crazy. Okay, so it, it's very different in texture. I have actually my favorite Jersey axe. It's right here. And if you could, 
if you could experience what I'm experiencing right now, let's just give it a little flavor of the vodka. It, 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 there is no, you can't, you can't put it into words. It, 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 look at how dark it is. No, sorry, you're there. It, softagon, right? I did softagon. I did a softagon for you too. It, it, I can't, I just, ah, I love the sax. Freaking love it. Okay. So I'm doing your axe in a similar fashion. Oh, good. Oh, good. Here we go. Okay. Okay. The fit's going on. Now what I need to do with this axe. Well, listen to the ring. Mr. Blanchard. He is a French man. I have the people and I have the plan. I'm looking for the final Jatoba wedge on the bench. He's right there for you. Um, we have the people and we have the plan. We are going to make Canada a great country. <laughs> Jack Christian. That's who it was. Anyways, this could be scary. This could be wickedly scary. Oh, I want to show you the leaf spring action. Check out the check out the grain of the axe. Totally sideways. Totally sideways running on the on the freaking handle. If you know how to swing an axe, friends, you inspect your handle when you get it. Take a look at what it's doing. Go like this, go like that, and go, okay, this is how I need to swing this axe and swing the pulp out of it. Oh dear, look at this, friends. This is this is this is it. This is freaking it. Now, okay, at this stage, this is what we do. We go like this. We put in the. Uh, I like to use the uh, hacksaw blade. You put it in there like that. You see how far it goes down. Then you know how big your wedge has to be. You pull it out. You go like that. Am I two thirds down the axe? Two thirds. Two thirds. I bet you I am, aren't I? Yes, I am. As a matter of fact, that's beautiful. I do not need to look at it again. I know. Now I look here and see what I need to do. There's quite a bit of room there and there, but still, this tells me I got all crazy and excited there. I better take a better look at this thing. I'm going to take it from the top because I do not need all this. Or do I? Maybe I do. I'm going outside now. Are you coming? No, you don't need to come. Mr. Blanchard. Mr. Blanchard, I want you to see something, Mr. Blanchard. I've customized your wedge, Mr. Blanchard. As you can see, both sides are customized for your wedge, Mr. Blanchard. I'm hard. I do not know what is going to happen here completely. But well, Mr. Blanchard, I'm going to try my best to sink the wedge. You're probably wondering why I'm speaking like kind of a Mexican and a Frenchman mixed together. I do not have the answer for you today. Let us carry on with the axe build. You can see my thoughts why I done that, you see. It went in fairly easily to begin with, uh, Mr. Blanchard, Blanchard. Blanchard, but now it is down and it is against the sidewall. So this is where the boys become separate from the men. I am going to put it in to the George Vincent. If you do not know what the George Vincent is, it is this. Hello, Mr. George. You are a good man on channel. This is a tall handle. I have not made 36 in a long time. Mr. Blanchard. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, I want to show you something, Mr. Blanchard. Mr. Blanchard. 
Take a look at this Mr. Blanchard. <laughs> Can you see the separation from the side walls? I think you can, Mr. Blanchard. <laughs> I'm in a goofy mood. I'll stop talking, Mr. Blanchard. Okay. Hey, friends, the reason I'm going off like this is you got to know Mr. Blanchard. He's a right crazy bugger. He's a Frenchman. He's a wild man. And I love him. And I love his family. And he's a good man. Yeah. So, uh, I I'll tell you right freaking now. I'm gonna tell you something right freaking now, okay? Right now. This, it's not going anywhere. I will tell you that right now. Chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. I'm very happy. He gave me this head and said, Bucking, he gave me about four or five heads and said, Bucking, keep all the rest of them ones, but give this one to Hogan and make me this one, he said, and it's done. To Mr. Blanchard! <laughs> oh, the fire is going very nice. I wonder if I can drum right now for Mr. Blanchard. I do not know if I can drum. With the big boots on. Yes. Let me see. You can go over there. The Mr. Symbol can go there. I have my... Uh... Oh, this is not too bad. Drum over here, you. The drums are fun, Mr. Blanchard. <laughs> oh, we are going to make this. I am going to go fix this outside. You do not need to come. See you in a minute. Um, I really like and I beetle backed it. You know how I do the sides chamfer the top corners and it looks like a beetle's back. That's why I call it the beetle back wedge. I'm patenting it. <laughs> no, I'm not. But I want to show you what is going to happen with this axe right now. As a matter of fact, we have a couple of things we can do. We are deep in snow. Um, I can uh, chop wood or I could split wood. I think I will do maybe both. You see Mr. Blanchard. <laughs> Mr. Blanchard. <laughs> It's long. <laughs> it's beautiful, buddy. It's long. You know, you sent it to me kind of not that dull, to be honest with you, Mr. Blanchard. You know, uh, friends, I think there's wood hiding here somewhere. <laughs> Look at that, friends. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. Well, tell you right now Justin Blanchard listen folks Jeremy 
Jeremy Vell's working on a couple of power saws for me right now. We call him the Vell Hoffer, all right? Now, we have all kinds of characters on this channel, as you are well aware of. Now, there's another fella here. He's called Just, uh, Justin Blanchard. Blanchard. And I have to say it kind of like Blanchard. Uh, you know what I mean? You know, in the swamps of the Mississippi, when you was born, if you had yourself five fingers and five toes, it was thumbs up for everybody. We were happy and healthy, and that's all that mattered. We wasn't expecting on losing the upper lip to an axe accident in the shack back out the back with your daddy. Well, that's what happened to me. Cletus is my name, if you're if you're wondering. I told you that, didn't I? Now, everybody, Jeremy, he he texted me uh, shortly ago and said, Bucking, we figured out the problem with the power saw. There's another difficult word for me, power saw. Maybe I should say chainsaw. No, I don't think so. That doesn't feel right rolling off my tongue, neither. Neither, neither. Now, I have to slurp once in a while. All of you don't, you know me, some of you do. Not everybody knows me. Now, I done a little video. I dressed up in some nice haberdashery in the little shirt and tie talking about getting the gullet. I told you that, didn't I? I know I did. Now, the thing is, friends, what we got here is a fail to communicate. No, I'm just kidding. We, we don't. We don't have a fail to communicate. We What we have here is an axe for a man named Justin Blanchard. And it wouldn't be a proper axe build for, 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 for Justin Blanchard if Cletus didn't join in the fun either. Because we kind of had a spin here. Mr. Blanchard. <laughs> Mr. Blanchard. You can see Mr. Blanchard um, in this uh, particular uh, step in the axe building uh, with the vodka, the hard wood. It sucks in the vodka like nobody's business. You know that saying, nobody's business? Where does that saying come from? I'm not sure. But what I will tell you, Mr. Blanchard, is this axe is very different. The handle was very interesting. I chose to give it to you because you are a man who knows how to build an axe yourself. And you are probably a man who knows how to swing one as well. There is hardwood in it. And in this horizontal grain, you can see the sapwood at the top right there. This is actually a really nice axe. It turned out better than I thought. The handle is narrow, super narrow. <laughs> okay, next, I will carry on. 